Hi, my name is Senta Terry, and I am the program director for Refuge for Women Las Vegas. Uh, it's a program, a nine to 12 month program that helps women coming out of sexual exploitation or prostitution or trafficking uh, and takes them through a healing and recovery journey for that nine to 12 months. And so our goal with them is to actually provide a space, a safe space for them to work through their pain. The only way to the other side of the pain is through the pain, which is a challenge for them, but it helps them work through that process. We take them through classes and counseling, an entire recovery and restoration process for them. And our goal with Refuge for Women is to take women through a restoration and healing process and also to teach them life skills so they can re-enter out into the community in a healthy space in their life. And so through the process of the 9 to 12 months that they're with us in our program, uh, they go through recovery and healing through the means of classes and counseling, learning how to be in community and live in an environment with one another. Uh, part of our challenge in that with them is it's difficult this is nothing uh, this is all new for them this is nothing like they've ever experienced before being in a safe space where people actually care and help hold them accountable to their growth and their recovery so the journey for them is challenging yet rewarding if they'll endure the process and so what does it take for them uh, it takes first of all a commitment and a willingness to trust which is very difficult for most of the girls coming out of the environments that they've been in uh, but it takes that willingness to trust that what we're teaching and how we're helping them grow through this is real and that the other side of this they can actually have their dreams and have the things that they have wanted their whole life many of them and the girls that we service that come into our homes that we get to support are all 18 and older and have ranged from girls that have been in prostitution for a year all the way up to women who have been trafficked for decades literally and so it's a uh, again very diverse community of women that we work with which is also a challenge for them some of the same things that trigger them are similar things other girls have experienced and then some they just don't understand because they've had different journeys or paths together uh, the challenge, the biggest challenge for them is the willingness to face their pain because it's difficult for all of us to face pain in our lives. And so to heal, they have to take a look at the pain, the original pain, how they made the decisions, what brought them to these places in their life, and to face that. The only way to the other side of the pain is through the pain. And so that's difficult for them. And for us, in working with them, it's difficult to not... Uh, be too involved or care too much. We want to love them in their process, but we don't want to uh, interfere in their process because we care too much. And so for those of us that work with the girls, uh, we have to keep in check our own pain or wounding and make sure that we are getting the help that we need if anything stirs up for us so that we can support them the best that we can through that journey.